Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 3rd of 2023. Well, it is titled Venus in ultraviolet from Akatsuki. So what do we see here? Well, this is the planet Venus as imaged by the Akatsuki spacecraft, which was launched by Japan and which entered orbit in around Venus in 2015. Now it was actually supposed to enter orbit about five years before that, but had to make an adventure and exploration around the inner solar system because of an error in the insertion. It was not able to insert into Venus's orbit and it missed that chance. So it had to make another journey around until the opportunity came up again for it to reach Venus. However, that second attempt was successful and because the, everything was still operating properly, it's still able to uh, uh, image our nearest planetary neighbor in space, which is the planet Venus, sometimes called Earth's twin because it is almost exactly the same size and same mass as our planet. It also has an atmosphere like our planet. Now Mars has an atmosphere as well, but much thinner. And we didn't maybe didn't know earlier on, but Venus has an atmosphere. It's an extremely thick atmosphere. So not one that you would ever want to be on the surface of this planet. And it also has very corrosive substances, including sulfuric acid within the atmosphere, making it very difficult to land and study the surface directly. So if you'll note, we talk often talk about rovers on Mars, missions to the moon, and exploration even in the outer solar system. But among the inner solar system, Venus would be one we would love to explore and explore the surface. But the conditions there are just not right for us to be able to do so. The temperatures are extremely high. The uh, pressure is very, very high, 100 times the atmospheric pressure of Earth. And the, that along with corrosive substances in the atmosphere just does not really allow for spacecraft to explore. However, we can explore from orbit. So studying it from orbit through radar and here through ultraviolet light, we hope to understand more about this planet, which I said again, in many ways looks a lot like Earth when we see the cloud cover there. Again, the surface is not visible. It is completely shrouded in clouds, unlike Earth. While we have a lot of clouds and have clouds in some areas, we have other areas that are completely clear and we can see straight through the atmosphere to the surface. That is not the case on Venus. It has been mapped looking at the radar images. So we take radar to bounce through the atmosphere and off the surface and then back to the spacecraft. And we've gotten complete maps of the surface. Now Akatsuki is actually studying the atmosphere and looking at the patterns and has actually found something comparable to the jet stream here on Earth. So why do we study these other planets? Well, they help us to better understand Earth as well. When you can look at many different objects, you can get a much more clear picture of what is happening. So if we can see patterns on Venus similar to what we have on Earth, we may be able to make further inferences as to what is happening on Earth and better understand our own planet. So that was our picture of the day for July 3rd of 2023. It was titled Venus in ultraviolet from Akatsuki. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be sudden sky surprise. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.